everybody, my name is Markiplier, and welcome back to Let's Play Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Well, I am great and magnificent, but there is more to this mystery. I don't see how I could do any better if it's even more difficult than it was. Okay, this is a game that was suggested by you guys. This was suggested by you guys. Don't know what I'm getting myself into. So here we go. And I don't really know what it's all about, but for some... Hello? Hello? Uh, hello? Hello, hello? Uh, hello and welcome to your new summer job at the new and improved Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, I'm here to talk you through some of the things you can expect to see during your first week here and to help you get started down this new and exciting career path. Uh, now, I want you to forget anything you may have heard about the old locations, you know. Uh, some people still have a somewhat negative impression of the company, uh, that old restaurant was kind of left to rot for quite a while, but uh, I want to reassure you, Fatbury Entertainment is committed to family fun and above all, safety. They've spent a small fortune on these new animatronics. Uh, facial recognition, advanced mobility, they even let them walk around during the day. <laughs> Isn't that neat? <clears throat> but most importantly, they're all tied into some kind of criminal database so they can detect a predator a mile away. Heck, we should be paying them to guard you. Uh, now that being said, no new system is without its kinks. Uh, you're only the second guard to work at that location. Uh, the first guy finished his week, but complained about conditions. Uh, we switched him over to the day shift. So, hey, lucky you, right? Uh, mainly he expressed concern that certain characters seemed to move around at night, and even attempted to get into his office. Now, from what we know, that should be impossible. So that restaurant should be the safest place on Earth. So while our engineers don't really have an explanation for this, the working theory is that the robots were never given a proper night mode. So when it gets quiet, they think they're in the wrong room. So then they go try to find where the people are, and in this case, that's your office. So our temporary solution is this. There's a music box over by the prize counter, and it's rigged to be wound up remotely. So just every once in a while, Switch over to the prize counter video feed and wind it up for a few seconds. It doesn't seem to affect all of the animatronics, but it does affect one of them. <clears throat> uh, and as for the rest of them, we have an even easier solution. You see, there may be a minor glitch in the system, something about the robot thing you as an endoskeleton without his costume on and wanting to stuff you into the suit. So hey, we've given you an empty Freddy Fazbear head. Problem solved. You can put it on any time and leave it on for as long as you want. Eventually, anything that wandered in will wander back out. Uh, something else worth mentioning is kind of the quirky modern design of the building. You may have noticed there are no doors for you to close. <laughs> uh, but hey, you have a light, and even though your flashlight can run out of power, the building cannot. So don't worry about the place going dark. Well, I think that's it. Uh, you should be golden. Uh, check the lights, put on the Freddy head if you need to. Uh, keep the music box wound up, piece of cake. Have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Right then. But for some reason, um, this one actually looks like it's gonna be pretty nice. I mean, I really like it so far. <laughs> so what have we got here? Um, um, there must have been something out here that I'm missing. This always happens to me, no matter what I do, no matter where I go. I'm just, <laughs> you just see me. So there's got to be something out here that I'm missing. If I'm thinking about this logically, there has to be something. But why would there be? So, you guys told me that the only horror things that happen in here... Either way, I'm not exactly sure what to expect. Because I've been in here before. Anyway, uh, no surprise there. Where is Slendy? There's no Slendy! There's no Slendy! Slendy is not here! This is where I first came in. I'm so confused. Okay, never mind. I shouldn't even bother. I shouldn't even try. You want some of this? You want some of this? But we're gonna be okay. Just you wait. Everybody, just you wait. I don't want it. No 
as I can. There we go. You've got to be kidding me. Damn it! Okay. One more pirouette. And here we go. saw that and saw how unbelievably bullshit ah! Ah! oh no oh no oh come on oh god damn ah! I can't believe this this is unbelievable this is fucking unbelievable! This is the worst! This is horrifying! I can't even understand this! This doesn't make any damn sense! Ah! I swear to God! But this fucking thing! Don't be such an a-hole. <laughs> oh, man. This is perfectly normal. Nothing, uh, bad happening here. Ah! Ah! Oh, my God! Are you fucking joking me? I am so... This is like... Oh my god! 
Oh, oh! What the hell? Where am I now? Where am I now? Where am I now? Where am I now? I can't see a thing! Oh, oh lordy. I mean, uh, uh, <laughs> I mean, you see this? This is unbelievable! I was about to kill myself! This game! I can't play this game anymore! It is too bad! I can't take it! I'm going to die if I keep playing this fucking game! I'm going to lose my mind! I am. Seriously, this is fucking bullshit! I can't do it anymore! I can't play this game anymore! This is done, I'm done! I can't do it! This is not even possible anymore! Because I'm gonna lose my mind! Because I'm gonna be in the insane world! I'm not gonna be able to play this game anymore! Because it fucked everything about it! <laughs>